Hi, I'm Blake McGowan and I'm a certified professional ergonomist at Human Tech. One of the most common questions I get asked about is manual material handling, specifically lifting. And an excellent tool to help you determine the acceptability of a lifting or lowering task is the NIOSH lifting equation. It's also an excellent predictor of low back pain. Let's take a look at the equation. Up on the top here, we have the first equation in the NIOSH lifting equation. It is trying to determine what's called the recommended weight limit for a particular lifting task for a particular lifting geometry. It is calculated by multiplying a load constant, which is equal to 51 pounds, by a series of modifiers or risk factors. Once we calculate the recommended weight limit, we're then able to determine what's called the lifting index. The lifting index tells us what we need to do. The lifting index is calculated by dividing the actual weight of that lift divided by the recommended weight limit. Pretty simple. Once we determine the lifting index, we know what is next. If the lifting index is less than one, that is considered a safe lift for 99% of males and 75% of females. No action is required. If the lifting index is three or above, we know this is a high risk lift. Some people in the working population are at higher risk of a low back injury. Now, more recently, there's been a study done by NIOSH. The team of researchers, including Tom Waters, have generated a new limit. They have found that a lifting index equal to 2.0 is associated with a higher level of low back pain. So what's the bottom line? The bottom line is we should adjust our level for high risk for the NIOSH lifting equation from a level of 3.0 to 2.0, which tells us at that point we need to implement engineering controls to help us minimize low back pain. For more information about Human Tech and the bottom line series, please visit us at humantech.com. Thank you. Have a great day.